The worlds of high fashion and technology have collided this morning. Angela Ahrens, CEO of Burberry, is leaving the British luxury retailer to go to tech giant Apple. Cathy Gordon joins me to discuss the story. Cathy, Burberry's old school. The company was founded in 1856. What does a company like Apple want with the CEO of Burberry and what's she going to do there? Well, she's going to head up Apple's retail and online stores. And Apple's been without a retail head for almost a year now. They parted ways with a, a previous hire from the UK Dixon's head, John Browett. And um, their retail stores haven't been doing as well as they would have hoped over the last while. So they really are looking for somebody to take it up. It's not the biggest jump. It's a, it's, it seems like a big leap, but it's not really a very big leap from technology into, uh, from luxury retail <coughs> into technology. Well, that's interesting. So, so tell me a little bit more about that. What is it that Angela Ahrens has done at Burberry that would attract the likes of Apple? Well, first of all, um, considering it is a luxury brand, she's gotten very, very involved in the digital aspect of it. Um, she's, uh, there's obviously a transactional website, one of the first from the luxury side. There's a lot of engagement socially. There's a lot of online engagement. They always have live webcasts of their, of their catwalk shows. All of their, um, their, their salespeople inside their stores have iPads. She's the tens of thousands of them out there, which is a great endorsement, I suppose, for Apple. And in fact, most recently, their um, spring summer collection uh, was a collaboration with uh, Apple's um, iPhone 5S launch where they, they filmed it. So there's already a reasonably close connection, but she's also, she's done a lot to improve the retail side of things at Burberry. Um, she's, she's done an amazing job with the brand, and I think she's certainly be very helpful at Apple in that respect. She's been at Burberry for quite a long time, hasn't she? And, and in that time, the company's done incredibly well. But uh, Burberry shares have fallen pretty sharply this morning. Um, you know, what challenges are left for the company? What challenges lie in store for her successor? Well, it's true. Um, I think she was uh, very highly regarded um, by the city and obviously that's reflected in the share fall. Uh, there's also some small concerns around um, some of Burberry's larger markets like China. But I think what they've done is they've, um, they've promoted their creative director who's been there for, since 2001 uh, to be creative director and CEO. So he'll be taking on more of a corporate role. And uh, challenges, I mean, he's clearly done the job for a long time. He's been in the job. He's been working with Angela for a very long time. And the uh, CFO today, this morning, did say there would be absolutely no change in strategic direction in terms of where they're going because they clearly like the direction of travel. Um, but admittedly, he's, uh, she's a tough act to follow. And in order for them to continue to grow at the pace that they're growing he's going to need to put his corporate hat on as well as his creative hat on. So investors are getting a known quantity but he may also need to prove his sort of social media and digital credentials himself. <laughs> Absolutely. Well Kathy thanks for joining us.